Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to walk you through how to bake the perfect vegan savory meat pie. I prepared two different types of vegan savory pies, one that is made from whole wheat and all-purpose flour and another that is gluten-free. I made a gluten-free pie because gluten does not sit well with a guest I had over for a small dinner get-together, so I chose to bake her a pie she could enjoy just as much as the rest of us could enjoy. To make a basic vegan pie crust, add 150 grams of whole wheat flour to a bowl in addition to 350 grams of all-purpose flour. For the fat component of our crust, I added 350 grams of plant-based crock butter, but vegetable shortening works well here too. Lastly, add 7 grams of salt or to taste and combine until it resembles the texture of wet sand. To bring the crust together, add one fourth or about a half cup of cold water. Knead until smooth. Make sure not to over knead so as not to form any gluten in the dough. This isn't bread, damas y caballeros. On the right, I have a sweet potato seitan tenderloin filling, and in my gluten-free filling is a quinoa, russet potato, and kidney bean filling. I had a lot left over crust from a previous bake, so I opted to use those first rather than let them sit in my refrigerator for a million years. The gluten-free crust is incredibly tasty, and dare I say it, I may have preferred it over the whole wheat crust, but both pies came out exceptional. Each pie is formed using a very standard procedure of greasing a springform pan of your choosing. I chose to use two 12-inch springform pans, but I've also baked pies in large ramkins and even smaller springform tins for single-serve deliciousness. Roll out your dough with plenty of flour. For the gluten-free flour, you will use you will see that I used brown rice flour to roll it out instead of all-purpose flour. I used a standard glass to piece the dough together, covering and fixing any holes. I filled my whole wheat flour pie with sweet potatoes and seitan tenderloin and then added a delectable vegan blue cheese that I made a while back. Because I prepared a lot of the fillings and crust before I filmed this video, if you're interested in these recipes, let me know in the comments and I can definitely make a video on how to make my very own fillings in the future. I must say this is a crowd pleasing centerpiece. I then rolled out more dough to form the crust. I carefully laid it over the springform pan, cut any loose edges, and sealed the pie with a fork. I then slit the top of the pie just a little bit so that steam can be released while baking. Follow the same instructions for the gluten-free pie by rolling out that dough using brown rice flour, carefully piecing it together in the springform pan if it falls and crumbles all over the place, making your efforts seem slightly regrettable, and then add your gluten-free vegan pie fillings, covering it with more excellent gluten-free pie dough closing with your fork and adding your slits on top of the pie.
Bake these pies together in an oven that has been preheated to 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 35 to 40 minutes until golden brown. Once baked, remove the pies from the oven and let them cool for 30 minutes. Don't do what I did, which is get super impatient and slice right into the steaming pie, letting all the filling slide out. Have no fear though, it's really not a big deal if you're hungry and want to eat it right away. The pie will stiffen up in the fridge. Both pies came out super delicious and pair nicely with a side of steamed greens, roasted carrots, or baked beans. Make sure to follow this similar procedure for any pies that you would like to make, whether they're vegan, gluten-free, keto, etc. They keep super well in the fridge up to a week. You can even freeze individual pie slices for up to two months, making your labor hella worth it. Thanks for watching this video and subscribe for daily shorts and weekly vegan recipes and tutorials. See you next time!